Hey you guys, I look like crazy and I have no makeup on and stuff like that. I'm right now editing the vlog you're going to watch today and um, I've realized that I needed to insert a little explanation at the beginning because otherwise you would not understand. Right now I'm in England. Just before I came back to England I, was, I went to Uruguay, Punta del Este, um, for four days to celebrate my mom's birthday and my dad and my mom's um, wedding anniversary, 30 years. Woo so I have, most of the videos are mine, some videos are my dad's and some are my sister, my sister's. So I am using theirs and you might hear my mom or my dad or my sister's voice in the middle. Uh, we usually speak in a mix of Portuguese with other languages, but if it's relevant, I leave a subtitle for you to understand. If it's not relevant, then I don't. So don't worry, it's nothing major. Um, also, I wanted to make a little note on my dad's videos. It will be my dad's voice in Portuguese, because he made those videos basically so my grandparents could watch it. And... Um, those ones are subtitled because he kind of explains a little bit so he's trying to be a youtuber <laughs> which is pretty cool and i think my dad has got quite a beautiful voice to listen to so i wanted to leave that there and not make a voiceover um on top of his voice um apart from that this is a really long video so bear with me please it's actually really pretty it is worth it um, it's just that it's four days of intense traveling, so four days of a lot of footage and I, it has been taking me quite a while to edit this and you might not like my edition, but unfortunately I was half of the stuff I had to take pictures for the blog and the other half videos, so I did not manage to register everything in both. So what I am doing is in the next few weeks um, every Tuesday on the blog you will get all the details of each place I went to on the blog um, that I went to Punta and we went to Montevideo so there is extensive explanation with loads of pictures for you to see so if you feel like the video has lacked a little bit just check out the blog every Tuesday for about a month um, from tomorrow on and you will see new posts about each different day that I've had there and what I did and all of that. So I hope you enjoy this video and I'm so sorry I look hideous and yeah I hope you stick to the end. Please don't forget to thumbs it up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below if you've ever visited Uruguay and um, so subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See ya! <laughs> We're going to Punta! Yay! <laughs> So we just got to the hotel and this is my sister in my bedroom. Um, as we walk in, this door it has whoops, the bathroom, which has a big mirror. Hi! And it's got stuff, the shower, and then the business with a telephone next to it, which is weird. Then, 
we live in. I'm sorry if I'm moving too fast. There's wardrobes. Nice big. That's the outfit of the day. Oh. So the bedroom. So we have TV there. Of course, that's my mess. My stuff and then my sister's stuff. And then we got this. A nice little sitting area. We got individual beds. But they're nice and big so we can go around. But the best part of the room is here. There's a balcony. And we can see the other buildings. So that's the back of the hotel, as you can see. I think you can hear some music, which is from the beach. And that's the front of the hotel. It looks at the beach. There's a little uh, island there, which we don't know yet what's got. Seems that they're having like a party and stuff down there. So yeah, that's our view. I like it. We also have a swimming pool. I'll show you later. So that's the um, it's still part of the hotel. I'm guessing we can go down, but I don't know how to yet. Okay, so this is the corridor of the bedrooms, and we have a view there with the couch, which is um, a, the back of the hotel, which has a whole bunch of other hotels. So that's not that exciting, but it's pretty cool. So here, going to the lifts. Those are the lifts, which are pretty awesome inside. But we can see another part of the hotel, which I love, the swimming pool. Look at that. I'm so looking forward to going there. So yeah, and the beach is right in front, as you can see. This is the lift. Look how cool this is. It's a really tall lift. And it's all wooden and designed. I think this lift is awesome. And I mean, look at the floor. It's pretty cool. And it has big ass mirrors. Hello. So let's go. So tonight is casino night. Hello. Um, it's a bit dark in this room to show you. I've done a little bit of a darker eye makeup and a nude lip, but you can't really tell. I'll try to show you the other way around. Um, I'm wearing a very <laughs> creased white dress. But yeah, it's like this. And a nude high heels. Simple. Nothing major. This is the crappy lighting, but it's the best that you can see. The eyeliner at the top and the bottom, no wing, a little bit of brown eyeshadow at the corner there, and then the inner corner, a bit of a beigey light color. And then nude lip. So that's the look. And I look naked, but I have my dress on, by the way. Good morning! Today is day two of the Punta del Este travel and as you can see the sun has just come out. It was quite gloomy and weird. It's quite windy so I am wearing like a jacket and stuff even though it's kind of warmish. It's not warm like Brazil so look this is the view from my balcony which is pretty So yeah, let me show you the outfit of the day. Hello, I'm not going to show my face right now because my hair is a mess and I haven't put <clears throat> makeup on yet, so bear with me. So basically because it's kind of windy, I'm wearing this um, jacket, which is not too, um, too thick. Um, underneath I have a green sleeveless top. <clears throat> Then I have this, this skirt that I bought in Brazil. It has a little fault here. The zip like goes sideways, but yeah. But that's the skirt, and it's nice and 
pearly. I love skirts like that. And because it's cold and we're going to go uh, for a walk, I have my trainers on. My old trusty trainers. So yeah, that's the outfit of the day. Uh. Hi, I'm here in Punta del Este in Uruguay which was founded in 1907, which is a pretty young city. I'm standing right here um, by the hand, or la mano, by a Chilean artist in 1982 called Mario Ira Razabal. Here I am in Playa Brava, which means angry beach, and it is the sea. The river in front of the hotel was called Playa Mansa, Mansa which is the calm beach. So you can hear in the wind, that's why I'm doing the voiceover. So population here is around 9,200 people. So you're not a lot of people. Okay, so we are getting close to the water right now. As you can see, it's pretty actually angry. It's very windy, so there's a lot of um, waves. So here is the dry sand going into the wet sand. It's a few little shells. So as you can see, I have my trainers on, so I can't go in the water because it's kind of cold. But I'll try and get you as close as possible. If you could smell how beautiful the smell of the sea is, it's not a strong, putrid smell. It's just a beautiful smell. Woo! The water's coming to me! <laughs> it's awesome. I love this sea. right now because I have a skirt on and the wind is really harsh so it keeps blowing my skirt up and I have to this is the four point so you can see there is the sea there there is the river on the other side is the river, um, yeah, that's the river, and the sea again down there. I have to be in the middle of the road to show you this, so yeah, you can see two points of the river, two points of the sea. Donkey! Hello! Day three, and we are at the pool, but it's kind of not a beautiful day, it's kind of grey. We have a little buddy with us at the pool. <sighs> Mommy's swimming. Look how she swims nicely. Right? I can't do that. It's pretty cool because the pool ends right there, and then you can see the sea and then the isle, island, and yeah, so it's pretty nice. And that little buddy allowed me to take pictures of it. I haven't got the guts yet to go in the water. Look. Those are my toes. I may jump, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't done an outfit of the day. So this is simple makeup. There's no face makeup. And I've got like a sports top on. And I've got my little squirt um, and I had my trainers on and underneath I have my bikini it's a black bikini so 
Yeah, I'm not going to show you that. I'm in a jacuzzi now, an outside jacuzzi, and quite biggish. I could swim a little bit, but this jacuzzi, because it has the jets, it has a lot of the sucking part that if you've watched the video before is one of my fears, my irrational fear. And I don't know if you can see there's a big one there. And there's a whole bunch of them around the border. So I'm pretty much stuck here, which is the only corner that there isn't one of them. <laughs> and I'm not going close to them because, yes, I am still afraid of it. <laughs> so, there's a fun thing for you to lock up. Bye! I'm in Montevideo now, which is also in Uruguay, and it's next door to Punta del Este. And this was founded a bit um, earlier on, in, around in the 18th century, in the beginning of the 18th century. This is a veggies and fruits market which this is one of the little stands within it so as you can look around there's more do you see full of variety colors absolutely awesome Praça da Independência, Montevideo. Teatro Solis. E o grande Palácio do Governo. Casa Pueblo. This is what Casa Pueblo is. An artist made this and other sculptures and paintings. This is awesome. Let me show you the view this mansion has. It has like nine levels and look at the view. Exactly. This is at Playa Ballena, which is, which means um, whale beach. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, come on, right? So as you can see, it goes lower down. We're not right at the top, but it goes down. In Casa Pueblo, Punta Ballena, Uruguay, Carlos Pai Vilaró, grande artista y constructor. Mais uma vista esta charmosa e artística casa à beira-mar. So today is the last day and we're leaving quite early so I'm just taking a last few walk with a few pictures 
and I'm at the pier, don't know if you can tell, and yeah, we're about to leave, so this seems like a sea, but it's actually a river, it's called Rio de la Plata, so yeah, it has waves and all. Uh, unfortunately leaving and just because we're leaving it has quite a nice sun quite a nice weather to go to the beach and the pool but oh well what can we do so I hope you have enjoyed this and my little travel vlog and I will see you guys some other point bye